Greetings, Elder Blacklight. My aims and purposes too, for those of you who have been following my channel, is to keep you woke. And for the first time, to wake you up. Now this is going to be very interesting. I'm going to give you some background why I think who I think that are agents and the technology that they're doing because they're devil's advocates, boule, gatekeepers for the enemy. See, they're chasing that bag with their short sight. <clears throat> they're very short sighted. And they don't believe uh, the teachings and the wisdom of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad given to him by our Savior, Ziz, uh, the month of Savior's Day. But it's going to give you a new meaning. Now these, uh, this used to be logo on the Muhammad Speaks newspaper for a long time before the final call put the trumpet up there. Well it was the final call before Farrakhan did it anyway. They say Malcolm gave uh, Elijah uh, Muhammad Speaks. But uh, as my pointer shows you, two brothers reaching out, Africa, all the way Asia, across America, the whole globe almost. Now, the Malachi, my quote might not be exact right on paraphrasing matter of fact I'm just using my own language we say I will send you Elijah Malachi just before you get to the New Testament the end of the Old Testament and he say I will send you Elijah who turned the hearts of the sons to the fathers and the fathers to the sons and you know before that great and dreadful day which we are in now of the Lord now Master Farah Muhammad came to <clears throat> give all this wisdom and knowledge to the Honorable Elijah Muhammad because He's from among us. Plus, Young Elijah Muhammad was all the way to the, to the bottom in the mud. And he raised him up to be the greatest messenger of all times. To show you what kind of power the teachings had. And when it was asked to Elijah, who would be your predecessor? Elijah says, there will be none but God himself. He comes after me. See, Elijah prepares the way for the destruction of the devil. Now, you got Tariq Nasheed, Sanetta, and you got uh, the Dirty Moor, Tahaka Bay. Now, starting with Tariq Nasheed, Tariq Nasheed didn't want to um, connect with the brothers over there in Africa. 
Are you forgetting that's where all the resources are, Brother Tariq Nasheed? The war between, that's, you know, between China, Russia, the European, uh, and United States is because the resources over in Africa. They got all the resources, man. And you trying to dish yourself from them. Trying to talk about reparations. Wake up, brothers and sisters. Chasing the bag, the white man offered him some money. The game that they playing now, the technology that Tariq or Tahaka Sarnetta playing now is helping to keep you subjugated and to go over in Africa. You know, so they fight over Africa, China, Russia, and the uh, United States are fighting. So these, these three brothers is doing uh, world wrestling, tag team. You got Sarnetta, Tariq, Tahaka Bay. This ain't nothing but an act. All this is an act, dramatization to keep you distracted from what's really going on in the homeland. So Tariq's job is to promise you reparations and distract you from the fact that so-called slaves they took them from Africa your motherland your fatherland so you won't connect and hook up with all those resources over there they've been trying to keep us from pulling our resources and going back home. You know. Sarnetta, he's been a double agent. Tariq Nasheed, Nasheed is a double agent. And uh, Tahaka Bay. They're doing a soap opera number on you. Dramatizing your black liber liberation. Talking about reparations. This is old right here. This book is old. Reverse reparation. Chuck Way the Moon. <laughs> this is old man. This is over 30 years old, maybe. Yeah, about 30, 35, maybe even 40 years old. And um uh, so ask Tariq about the uh, word Mac, where it come from. Come from Detroit. I know all about Mac. I know all about reparations. You know. Reparations is a game right there. It's a flim flam game. Stay tuned for part three. To be continued. Assalamu alaikum.